And so you can see on the level one floor plan, you can see the pods on the, the sort of northeast corner of the school would be the middle school. So there would be two levels to those, um, and each one would represent a team, so two teams per grade. The orange part in the middle is the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. The red parts are things like band and chorus, tech fabrication labs, um, arts, uh, visual arts, those kinds of things. The light blue all over the plan is administrative and guidance and those kind of support services, so wherever you see those. The pink spaces are special education uh, spaces. And then the green spaces uh, in the middle that kind of flow through are the dining commons for the middle school and then the shared kitchen and the dining commons for the high school. As we come over to the high school, these red spaces all together are visual and performing arts all clustered together. So one of the challenges we have in the current school is that our band and chorus rooms are up on the second floor while our stage is down on the first floor. So you have to move all those big band instruments, all the things that you're using for practice have to come down to the stage when you're doing a performance. We don't have adequate space for dressing rooms and storage and all those things that need to go along with our performing arts program. Um, and some of these red spaces over here that sort of bleed into the STEM, the blue uh, classroom and STEM cluster are fabrication spaces, so for sets and costumes and those kinds of things, so that all of these sort of fabrication spaces can work together, so students have access to all those tools that they need uh, to really drive their own learning in some of those disciplines. Um, the blue spaces over here on the far right-hand side are the classroom wings. So that we're envisioning right now, the eastern wing would maybe be STEM and math and, and all of that. Um, three levels high at the high school uh, to have enough capacity. Um, and then um, the similar for the humanities and the language arts mm -hmm. and the leadership um, down on the western side of the school. So this is just the level two of those plans. You can see the media centers, which is what we call libraries now because they're more than just books. Um, they're all about uh, all different kinds of media. And again, some more project spaces. And then the level three is just the top level of the, um, of the high school. So Again, it looked like the, the mechanicals and all of the structures for, you know, um, all the systems and things are all common. So there's yes. one in the whole building. Yes. You're, you're not looking at you're one kidding. system right. for one right. and those things. So there's a That's real... That's exactly right. So these dark gray spaces that are kind of to the north of the visual and performing arts um, in the, some of the, the few interior spaces that we have in the way the building is designed are these are these mechanical systems and that will run both buildings. And obviously the performing arts area can the middle school will also be able to, you know, take advantage of Absolutely. having that right there as well. So yep. um, some nice shared things as well. Exactly. Um, so we ran through the floor plans. Um, we're running a little short on time, so I will just suffice it to say that the building is being designed to be LEED certifiable. We're taking into account all of those kinds of things. Um, we're planning for solar panels to provide about half of the electricity that we need. We can't do more than that unless we buy the panels and batteries and all that. All that stuff is still up for discussion. Mm -hmm. There'll be a, I'll get to the end and, and we'll talk about it, but there's another 12 months of design work and priorities that we'll have to make within this budget that we're setting for ourselves now. So we haven't exactly decided every single attribute, especially when it comes to sustainability. There's still some things that we're considering that might be put into the project. We would have to make space for them by taking something else out. Um, security, um, part of the reason we chose the concept that we chose for the schools is it moves them off of Dorset Street mm -hmm. and puts them off to the, the eastern side of the property. It gives the security team a, lo a longer line of sight so they can see who's coming on and off the property. Um, the real thing is that the schools are designed to really promote a sense of inclusiveness, mm -hmm. to have common spaces where students can come together with passive supervision from adults. Right now, especially at the high school, there are opportunities for students to kind of isolate themselves and everyone's so crowded you can't just sort of find your friends in one big group space. There isn't that space. So people have sort of divided up into their little niches and they know where their friends are going to be. And it doesn't really promote a sense of everyone, you know, learning to work together and be together. And studies have shown, there are white papers about this, that really the biggest thing for preventing any, you know, major issues with regard to security is promoting that sense of inclusiveness and making sure that kids feel like the school community is there for them. And that's what the buildings are meant to do. Um, there are all kinds of design features, which we won't go into tonight, but there's a lot more in the community meetings that are coming up if people have questions about those. But through design and through location and through site design, we've really thought about security carefully.